Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius, January 7, 2023. Transits today support communicating your affection or compassion. You could reach or reconsider an agreement, or you could come to an understanding about past problems in a close relationship. Benefits come from partnering up today. Compassion may move you to help and support someone who needs it. It's also an excellent time to release some tension or bring a bit of romance or imagination to your life. Focusing on the positive, beautiful, and magical qualities of life can be therapeutic. The moon forms its monthly alignment with Jupiter today, and this can serve to expand your feelings about others in positive ways. You could find special joy in a partnership or in your relationships. Things are slowly, but surely, falling into place. In the meantime, the moon will make its monthly debut in Pisces via your committed seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others today, which means you're likely more invested in themes surrounding your lover's emotional stability. On another note, Luna will be approaching a conjunction to dreamy Neptune, which, in turn, presents you with a more spiritual perspective on your innermost feelings. New means of professional self-expression could be emerging, as you work through your professional commitments, thanks to the ongoing sextile between Uranus retrograde and Neptune. If you feel ready, you should make a mini-debut of what you have been working on at work under the moon in Cancer. Lovely Luna is your incentive to stand out, especially if you have a unique perspective or innovative, creative vision to show off. You could feel more emotionally invested in your work, so showcase your beginning stages of creativity to trusted colleagues to get proper support and feedback. The closer you get to the weekend the more important it becomes to keep your mind and your options open. That is always the case when the moon draws closer to its monthly visit to your financial sector but especially as the moon will return in time to give you a read on the dwarf planet Eris final days in retrograde motion here and as the tide gets ready to turn. Go out and enjoy life to the full. You exude an inner calm and spontaneity that others find irresistible, so join in activities with them. Start a new hobby or visit an old friend. Whatever you do, reflect and find out what's been on your mind. Dig more deeply into the business of the day. You can get some new information without too much trouble, and that might be the last clue you need to see what's really going on around you. You feel self-assured capable of almost anything. If there is someone special you have your eye on, you convince them of your intention to get together in a more intimate way. Even if you have not already met someone, you can rely on your charm and naturalness to bring successes in any matters of the heart. Today's planetary alignment will help you slow down your incessant thought process. You take a studied approach to things, and if you pay attention to how your friends make their way up the mountain of life, it is slow and steady. This works for many. In fact, the more slowly we do things, the more beneficial it is to our health. Eating slowly aids the metabolism, lowering weights slowly gives you a better workout, and driving slowly helps everyone. Even the most devout family person loves to have fun away from home once in a while and this seven day is designed for just that. Get together with some friends or extended family and head out to do something everyone will enjoy. If you have kids, this fun-filled day is ideal for family adventures. Days like this are action-packed and excitement-filled for both children and those who are kids at heart. Whether it's friends or your own kids, be sure to do something that will see you laugh. At the same time that you move into the final two weeks of your birthday month, the sun moves into both the best and the most challenging days of his time in Capricorn. As the moon returns to your relationship sector this begins the lead up to a full moon that will see it clash with the sun by tomorrow. However, as the only challenge throughout your birthday month and coming just as the sun is moving into a friendly aspect to Uranus and towards an alignment with Mercury, this is likely to be more motivating than challenging. The moon not only returns to your relationship sector today but begins the lead up to the first full moon of 2023. It is not until tomorrow that the moon will clash with the sun and mercury, 
with a chance today to become more emotionally engaged but also more aware of any balance issues between your personal and relationship needs this might expose. Daily Planetary Overview The Capricorn Sun connects with Uranus in Taurus this morning. When these two planets align, it allows us to lean into our innermost true and unique vibe. We can be ourselves today without any pushback from friends, family, or co-workers. In fact, living one's best life means embracing all of the parts of oneself, which we will be freely sharing with others today instead of hiding who we truly are. The Pisces Moon and Mars in Cancer square off today. When the Moon squares Mars, it can bring intense arguments to the fore. This energy can directly affect relationships and home life. Be careful not to listen to people who don't have your best interests at heart. And don't take advice from someone who doesn't know the full story. They might push you into saying things that aren't necessarily kind and don't hold any weight in the discussion. Although we might want to argue until the bitter end, and get in the last word, it would be inadvisable. More often than not, it doesn't matter who wins. Be the bigger person, and stop the drama from reaching that point by walking away or apologizing. In many cases where arguments occur, no one is right or wrong. Therefore, it's important to regain peace and understanding, so you can work and evolve together as a functional unit. In centering conversations around our own experiences, we can come off as showboat. We are entirely naive to this, unable to see ourselves realistically and believing that we are making friends when we are really attracting people who want to see us knocked off our pedestal. We should be mindful of how we are presenting ourselves as well as the company we are keeping. Perhaps it will be better to put off new introductions until later in the morning, as the moon enters its void following this aspect. We only get one chance to make a first impression, so we might as well hedge our bets. The same attitude that enables us to tackle tedious mundane duties can also make us critical of others' choices or predispositions. Aim to stay on your own path and let others live their lives you'll save more energy this way. This aspect celebrates innovation and progress. We desire to break free from limitations and carve a new niche for ourselves. Change isn't disturbing, it's exciting. Acting upon revolutionary impulses and ideas allows us to make greater strides in our life than we would by sticking to convention. Because this cosmic meeting is occurring in steady earth signs, we probably won't throw all caution to the wind. However, we will assess the resources at our disposal and imagine how to use them differently. Don't be afraid to try a completely new approach to tackle a persistent issue. If your method doesn't work, it doesn't work. We are offered divine protection now, so should we make an error or a misstep, the recovery will be swift, and the lessons learned will be invaluable.